What's up, guys? It's your boy Champs I'm here back with my Mac Refugee Tour. It's the final round of the Player Championship for 332 fights, heading in the first hole. We're about nine strokes off the face, so we're gonna have to get a lot of birdies and maybe a couple of eagles if we want a chance. So we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to make up a lot of ground. If we play some good golf, we might have a chance. Here we go. I don't like to practice the win at this point, but if we play well, we might just finish NBC the top Golf Channel or so. on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season long race, race for the FedEx for the Cup. FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the players. Welcome to the Players Championship, always one of the yeah, most unpredictable Sundays in golf. This is Pete Dye's masterful creation, TPC Sawgrass. We're located in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. And what a championship uh, final round we're in for today, Rich. Uh, whatever happens in the first 15 holes will only be exaggerated, accentuated. Your choice over 16, 17, and 18. Three all famous right. holes, you see it. all with water in play. And we've seen just about Nine every scenario up. possible over the last few years. Today, we get to add to it. We get a chance to start things off. Here we go in the final round. So hold on, guys. All right, guys. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get started on this final hole. Well, well, final round, I should say. That's good. Right there in the center. About 290 plus. Oh, okay. A little bit sooner. I'll take that. Officials are calling that one around 310 yards. Frank, you want to get off to a good start. This approach shot here at the first is important. It is. Two distinct levels on this, uh, this green. The high side on the left there and the lower side on the right. Um, if you're trying to keep that ball a little left of uh, a middle, you've got to be careful of that bunker on the left. Seems to like it. Looks like it's... Headed for the green. Oh, that's great. Right, oh, right in front of the uh, yesterday. Don't forget. Right in front of it. Nice. You can't getting remember. ready for the putt. Okay, here it goes. Might have given it a little too much juice. Nope, gave it just enough. Okay, we got the birdie, and now we're working our way up. Frank, the good players continue to play good golf, <coughs> even if they're not winning or in the top five. Yeah, that position starting to a little brighter than what it was at the beginning of the day. Now off. in the top 25. Yeah, the par five I can work with. I can get an eagle or anything close to that, maybe another birdie. And I'll start working my position even further. So here we go. Uh-oh. Hook that a little bit to the right. Then to the left, 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 to the left. Long and strike. That's how you Thank do you. it. Thank you. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Frank, there's a real art to putting a good score on the board, isn't there? Yeah, that's why stroke play is so tough, Rich. Uh, you know, you're trying to minimize everything on a golf course. Turn a six into a five or a four into a three. It's like even off the edge of a green, trying to get up and down in two rather than three. And you've got to do it for 18 straight holes, straight straight holes. If it's a 72-hole tournament, then you've got to do it for four straight days. And oh, that's look at why that. that's Beautiful. always been the best predictor of, of, of all that downspin pretty much made it stop right next to the hole. And, make the least and I got an easy chance at eagle strikes. and get two strokes. What an opportunity. A putt for eagle. Got to go for it. I got to go for it. Move it a little to the right. Here it goes. I don't make the eagle. I got an easy birdie. But I do oh, make the eagle. That's an eagle. It's a tap in eagle. Oh, the the and just so like that, we're only six strokes off. Like Woohoo! Go me! We may that have a shot at winning this thing. Rarity here. Difficult and just like that, and, uh, in two strokes, in two shots, in two shots close we pulled off three it? strokes. I hit that one a little to the left. Oof. Okay, round right. to the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Oh, oh I am so. Has to be feeling as though 
They're not out of it just yet. <laughs> I am I'm freaking unstoppable today. A couple more birdies. <laughs> I've gotten a birdie, eagle, and birdie so in the first much three holes. Here, Frank, Holy on shit. 16, 17, and 18. Number four is a hole that gets overlooked, but it's a fun one. Yeah, the second shot here is more dawning, especially when that flag's right, on, the, on the left. So you really do start looking at that blue stuff, uh, water. Ramp that bad boy up. Right, to the right, to the right. Thank you. Frank, this is a way to make eight. golf easy when you can hit that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. All right. 320 is fine with me. Good swing, good shot yet again. That will be a great look at birdie. I have a chance at another birdie. This one if that's just the case, requires then a little bit of focus. This should be an easy birdie. If not, I'll get a far. I happily take another birdie, that's for sure. I'm not quite oh, going to get so it. So close. <coughs> oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that Still. hurts. Birdie, eagle, birdie. Feet. Birdie. Now far. I'm perfectly fine with that for the first few holes. That is a solid par putt. We'll be back for the fifth hole in just a sec, guys. Frank, the golf course toughens up right here at the long par four fifth. Yeah, when you play it off the, the, the back tee, 470 yards, it's nearly 320 yards to that last bunker down the left side. That really has to be in the back of your mind. The ideal tee shot, a little left or right. All right, guys. Fifth hole here. See what we can do. Back in that baby. Break right down the middle. Good contact, good result. Almost 300 by itself. Interesting with the almost space age advancements in golf equipment, what with new lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball Here longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. Almost and got it in there. An exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that would have been another eagle. Now. That's too Made easy. Made par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. And it's another birdie. <laughs> and now we're Just only four strokes off the play lead. Some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. And here I thought we wouldn't have a chance to make like a fifth nine stroke. We're making up like crazy. Jumps out at you the way say seventeen does. Yeah, a lot of times people will just sort of gloss so over it, but anytime you get a par four into four hundred yards, it's birdie, a great opportunity. Eagle, but par, once again, birdie. a positional hole. Take crazy. advantage of it. Okay, let's take another big swing and see what we can get. Here it goes. I hit that a little to the left, but I can easily work that in my favor. I'm loving that balance. Over 320 lights up on those. Almost That's an going. absolute beauty. Frank, now the second shot here at hole number six. Yeah, not overly long, but be very aware of these palm trees that are short. Many a shots caught those trees coming into this green. Good looking shot right here. Oh, right, right in front of the flag. Stick from that man. And Ryan, look at how good we're doing. over this putt, concentrating on the read. All right, here it goes. And we've got another birdie. Ten under. Yeah, at the right where point, or nine under. Birdie me. right there, into the top five on this leaderboard. Well, so at the right where point, there is no way we're not going to win this championship. Seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass generally plays into the wind, one of the stadium course's most difficult greens to hit, Frank. 
it's a really weird tee shot here. You have those three little pot bunkers down the right, and then that bunker that meanders so that once again all the right way down the left side. The bunker left. that's just slightly right of the left, canal. Left, Very left, awkward left, angle left. off the tee. There you go. Three here. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Here it goes. <clears throat> Can't hide the flags a little bit far on that one. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. No, it didn't. And why would it? Because we're on fire. Oh, wow! I that was so close, Frank. If I had just turned it at another just inch to the left, that I would have had, had that, that, that much better. Sure. Par attempt here. Here it goes. Am I gonna miss this park and if I am too far to the left? Yep. That is a painful bogey at the seventh hole. It's okay. It is a okay. Just take the bogey. One. I'm gonna drop one shot. I gotta make up four. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Here we are at the 8th at Pete Dye's famed stadium course at the TPC Sawgrass. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. And uh, players do too, Rick, right? especially off that back tee where it must be about 80 yards of shoot that you go through before the uh, hole actually starts to aid, uh, open up. And um, this green, 11 bunkers in total around the whole putting surface. All right, nice stop. Just a pure strike. Perfect result. He'll have a good look at birdie now. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Yeah, another. So I got the shot. Of, I just got the stroke back to that one. A good birdie right there, Frank. Oh, now if I can get another, get another birdie, cup of coffee. Things are heating I can up. move within within the uh, three way second place. Frank, the ninth is really a good par five, All isn't right. it? There's so get many options here. here. Um, just play Still it forward. away, sort of three wood it down there, then go to the right and sort of wedge it on the green. But uh, it's very tempting, especially in the right wind condition. Oh, That's if they're coming over your shoulder for a right hander from right to left. Then this par five right. is uh, very reachable. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Almost well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? And his second shot with the par five. Another off onto the fairway. Here goes. A little extra on that bad boy. Beautiful shot right here. Not an easy chip, possibly for Eagle from here. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. And here goes. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a bogey on this hole yesterday. Here goes. And we don't like it. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, okay. you're gonna really and knuckle we'll down back there. For Make the, sure uh, you don't. And and guys. This one goes. That's a solid par. Still in it, Frank. Definitely still in it. Only four. Only three shots off the lead. Back to the tenth hole and just set. Now onto one of the most exciting back nines in golf here at the TPC Sawgrass in the Stadium Course. Let's begin at number ten. All right, guys. Let's do this. Clothing on later. So let's not stop now. Let's keep them squirming. 
Keep these guys squirming, guys. Alright, let's do it. Alright, that looked good. Oh, I liked that. Straight in the fairway, that's good. Strike. That's how you do it. Good stuff. Ooh, nice little bounce Brilliant. forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Second shot now at the 10th, and again, Frank, accuracy is at a premium. Yeah, gone are the days uh, to sort of thrash it out of the trees like Phil Mickelson. Ideally, coming out of that fairway, you're hitting to a green that moves to the right, so that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult than what uh, the mind's eye first sees. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot. Right uh, right superb to the top. shot. Uh, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Of course I can. It's right in front of me. See? And now we are officially in well, Frank, under. Frank, he needed that birdie. Had to have it. Now only trailing by two, Rich. Down by two strokes. We've got eight holes to catch. Let's him. go to the eleventh. Now it's a par five and a fun hole, Ooh. Frank. You can make par five. Uh, we can make an eagle here. Three to seven here. And that's why, uh, as the start of the back nine, especially on a Sunday, make an eagle right here, guys. Pivotal hole to start a run. Big uh, body of two sand on the left side uh, that sometimes the longer hitters can get close to with the tee shot, but really it's the second shot. If you can reach this par five and two, guys. it's a very narrow green. The layup, well, it's actually an awkward layup, Rich, because you've got to push that ball to the left side, almost like a zigzag I approach. The shot. Not like last time where I had a water hazard problem. This time, we're right on target. 326. Couldn't ask for too much better here. And he steps up to take this shot from the fairway. Frank, you've been around this game for a pretty long time. Are players, in Here fact, goes. more athletic today than they were, say, 20, 25 years ago? There's no question, Rich, they are, that we've borrowed from other sports. Uh, if you can't make the player better, you can make them more athletic. And in the end, you're still making the golfer better. Oh, Frank, we hit right on the pin there. It's done. You take a I got chance for that is a lesson in itself. And now a chance for Eagle. Chance for the Eagle, guys. Let's go nail it. And getting ready for the putt. Here you go. It is for the tie. He got it. it. We are tied. He makes the move to second place on the leaderboard. We are tied for the lead. Yeah. We just might win our first major championship on our first try if we keep this up. Up now, hole number 12. It's a short one, 358 yard, par four. This can catch you off guard. If you just try and hit the ball on the fairway, and you're on the middle here. of the fairway, the left side, you will have Amazing a blind second shot. So ideally, hit it down that right side of the fairway if you want to see the flag. Frank, did you hear the sound of that, that coming was, off the club face? It was like blast. a cannon. 80. Eight. That is tasty looking right there from just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Alright, here goes. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Ooh, nice play right there. That's in pretty close. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Here goes to take the lead. He got another one. We have a leader. Yes. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. I am on freaking here at Sawgrass, tricky 181 yard par three. You don't we'll have to right hit back directly for at this flag. 13, when that flag is at the back there, you can use the contours. When it's on the left, once again, you can use the ridge in the middle of the green. Matter of fact, one of the hardest hole locations is when it's in the front right, because that's when you have to be perfect. 
Here you see the scorecard so far, guys. Birdie, eagle, birdie, par, birdie, birdie, and one bogey, a birdie, and a par. I pretty much birdied or eagled. I mean, look at this. I, I birdied one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the twelve holes I birdied. Two of them I've eagled. The seven of the twelve. And I parred two and bogeyed one. That's crazy. Here goes. We're going to try to see if we can get a possible hole in one here. It's not going to be greedy though. I'm going to try for it. Good swing, good shot yet again. Okay. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Second shot coming out of the rough here. That's all right. And he's made the green. Here goes. Far to keep my lead. Got it. Dwindling the holes down. Pars are fine right now. Five more holes to get it. I might probably get another birdie or so. I might have this championship blocked up. A pivotal hole. Everybody focuses on the finish here, but you're absolutely right, Rich. This can be an absolute scorecard wrecker because if you spin your drive left, the drop back, perhaps on the ladies' tees, you can make six in a heartbeat. You try to enter the right, Whoa. you make six from the mounds. So good drive down here, down 14. Did you hear that? Gives you a chance for that fast finish. That's a good spot. 300 right on its own, man. Send a cut. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position plus. where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Yeah. Stuffed it in there really close, and now just a tap in. <laughs> he just dropped it. He just dropped it. Now uh, this for Birdie well. came away with par in the previous round. It might be a little tricky. Here goes. Can we get another birdie? Nope. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh man. I just pushed it. Yeah, oh, that hurts. Put this round you don't want to let this one get away. Yeah. This is about yeah, concentration and focus at this point. Uh, since even if we had missed that one, it wouldn't be a big deal because we still have a lead. Got it for par. Still holding on the lead. Another par four. Three holes left. Actually, four holes. Frank, the 15th hole certainly has the respect of the professionals. But you're right. This is a positional hole where uh, just keep the ball down the left center. You can't go too far, though, because you'll get blocked out. Or well, he goes after it like he is here. And a whack. Grab the fire extinguisher. Put it in the hole. It's on fire. It's melting going through the air. Oh, oh, fire. Huge, Nothing going through the air. huge with a capital H. Busted that. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. Here you go. Good looking shot right here. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a right. lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. There it is, another birdie. Yes. In the cup, what a shot. Can't Too get much lead. better than that. Here we go. And if you're a couple of shots behind on Sunday, that final round, you're thinking about three, and that's possible, isn't it?
Well, history shunned it, it has, Rick. All right, guys. We are so close to a championship. I can practically taste it. Let's go get it. We can get a birdie or better on this par five. I think the championship is guaranteed to be ours. Oh, that's fine. Sorry, the screen problem there. Well, it is nice to have that one in your bag to be able to hit it that long. Yeah, that has to be at least 315 yards. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Uh, I flagged a little long. I might just want to lay up a little bit short of it. Here it goes. Oh no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is this is going, going, gone. Oh, that was like you saying bolt, Frank, right through the tape. Yeah, that first step, that was never gonna stop. We can get a chip and eagle. If we get a chip and eagle, this thing's all over. Oh, not a chip and eagle, but we should get a chip birdie. Get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Party yesterday. Well, now for birdie. This thing's over. Here it goes. We got it! 15 under! <laughs> Putting on a show, this tournament moves to 15 under par. Just give me the championship trophy, Frank, you think already. about heartache here at 17 through the years. What comes to mind? Okay. Well, Obviously, the Sean O'Hare is, is the first memory. I remember Lynn Matisse missing the hole up. Uh... Okay, guys. 17 word. Two holes to go. Got a three-stroke lead. If only we don't screw this up, we've pretty much got the championship in the bag. Here goes. Oh, this is hitting in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Just a very That is crazy. Danger. I almost got a hole in so right there. Close. Why does he have a little luck? Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. That's right. They got a guaranteed birdie right there. 16 under, here I come. And I got it. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. I don't even really even have now to try on this last hole. Holes in golf. The 18th here at Sawgrass. We're I'll just run away with this championship. Yard par four in 2013. Get the trophy ready, boys. Averaged .39 strokes above par. What makes it so challenging, Frank? Just that big body of water of, uh, that to the left of of 18 here that's also shared to the right of nine not a single fairway bunker on this uh on this 18th hole so really lack of definition. <laughs> it's so hard to find a target here great strike and a great result setting up good chance to attack the flag frank you found dry land that's the good news but now you have this second shot which is very daunting yeah once again you're looking at water on the left side so the tendency is to miss it on the right but that's a very, very difficult up and down. This is another second shot you just got to brave. This is a good looking shot. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on Damn the right. easy birdie. To win the Players' Championship. It's too easy. And even if I miss this birdie, I've got the championship one. I'm ahead by four strokes. That not going. Sorry. Came to the putt excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important that this one goes in. Okay, it's all good. Here goes. For the championship. And I got it. Good effort. And good par putt. Champion. That has to feel I so good. I am the champion. A big championship victory. I am the champion of the golfing world. <laughs> I am the champion. That's right. 
59 I shot. I was 13 under this in that round there. And what? Huh? I won. Why is it saying that he had 18 when I won? Huh? Didn't I win? No, what Charlie was saying was like the record or something. Didn't I win that? Hold on. I know I won that. I had to have won that. There's no way I couldn't have. I know I just won that damn championship. Anyways, let me check something. I'm pretty sure I won, but if not, then finishing second's fine. Anyways, we will be back for the Peach Invitational, which is not a regular major. We'll be back for the Peach Invitational in the next episode. So until next time, if you want to try give us a remember to like the video, sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep it turning, everybody. Peace out for now.